All right, folks, let's check this out. Psychedelic drugs in Vermont. A grassroots push for legalization picks up on lawmakers' efforts. This is in Vermont, folks. As a January 2020 bill to decriminalize certain hallucinogenic drugs in Vermont currently sits in committee, a grassroots petition was recently started to legalize psychedelics for mental health in Vermont. Garnering over 260 signatures over the past two weeks, the petition cites research from the Johns Hopkins Center for Psychedelic and Consciousness Research as evidence of the safety and mental health benefits of psychedelic drugs. Johns Hopkins has found that psilocybin, also known as magic mushrooms, can help relieve depression, anxiety, nicotine addiction, and alcohol dependency. The petition urges Vermont to follow in the steps of other parts of the country that have decriminalized certain psychedelics, which includes Oregon, Denver, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Santa Cruz, California, and Washington, D.C. There's a couple of others, I'm sure. Bill H-8... H-878, introduced by Vermont State Representative Brian Cena, would decriminalize certain drugs commonly used for medicinal, spiritual, religious, or entheogenic purposes, including psilocybin, peyote, ayahuasca, and kratom. I don't know why kratom's in that category. Isn't that already... Unless kratom was recently criminalized, I'm pretty sure it's already in that category of drugs that, I mean, you can just go to the gas station and buy Kratom, so I don't know why that, unless Vermont has a different state law. It's a waste of society's resources to criminalize behaviors that stretch to the roots of humanity, Cena said. Psychedelic substances have been used by indigenous people around the world for millennia. From the Amazon basin to the Great Plains, we used this medicine before Jesus Christ walked the earth, indigenous healing artist Lisa Na. May, uh, Macius Red Bear said in an article by the publication Neo.Life. This link between government regulation and, uh, or government regulation of psychedelics and the colonization of America, of the Americas, connects to the large argument of the Vermont petition that the criminalization of psychedelics stems from racism and the war on drugs. Yo, this article is really good. Psychedelics usage and research were drastically restricted in the 1970s and 80s as part of a crackdown on the counterculture movement of the 1960s, writes journalism professor Don Latin, Harvard University's uh, psychologist and high priest of psychedelics, Dr. Timothy Leary, was proclaimed the most dangerous man in America by Richard Nixon, who spearheaded the war on drugs in 1971. And every year from 1980 to 2007, black people across the U.S. were arrested on drug charges at a rate of 2.8 to 5.5 times that of white people human rights watch reports. Reminder, the Nixon administration uh, had internal memos that were unsealed at some point that said that they specifically started the war on drugs to target the blacks and the hippies because those were two of the largest groups that would not vote for Republicans. So again, you know, what the fuck? Let's get it, Vermont. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm moving to Vermont. Let's get it.